and caught the dot again. Got it? Don't give me that look. You got a lot of pork, because it was cheap. Part of me thinks starting with fried food might be hard. But the basics are pretty much the same. You're a real oddball, you know that? Asking me to teach you how to cook. Why do you want to learn so much? Ugh. You don't really think things through, do you? Well, whatever. It can't hurt to know. I was taught how to cook by someone else, too. So, when I see someone who wants to learn, I can kind of relate. All right, that's enough rambling. Let's get started. You're gonna do it this time. So first, get the meat ready. When you're frying something, stick a chopstick in the oil and check for little bubbles. Wait, you're putting on too much heat. The meat ain't gonna taste good if it's too tough. Pretty good job, considering it was your first try. You still got room for improvement, though. Especially in the way you handle the knife and fryer. But if you're serious about it, then just practice. Alright, let's clean up. You ain't done cooking until everything's put away. So don't slack off. Jungle Jim was so scary. I thought I was gonna die. Thanks for helping me, mister. Yeah, 
Thanks, Koromoru. And I brought them here. I knew where to find Koromaru all along. I heard from the priest. He said Koromaru would be at the shrine gate, looking after all the people in town. So even though he found a new spot, he's still protecting us? I knew it! Koromaru is this town's watchdog! Oh, by the way, are you Koromaru's new owner? Is there really a difference? Well, as long as he's happy. Uh-oh. We better get home soon. Whoa! You're right! Okay, see you guys later! So excited. Don't you go on walks all the time? Whatever. Go on and run all you want. I don't like the way things are looking out there. Feels like a storm's coming. <clears throat> well, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> what? You done already? This place was your home, right? Hmm? What you got there? Doesn't look like anything dangerous. Why don't you hang on to it? Come on. Let's head back.
what? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Now then. Which will you choose? Please take a look. So you'll be summoning this may it be your inner strength. So you'll be summoning this one? Is this acceptable? It's yours. Please take a look. Does that persona catch your eye? This is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Is this acceptable? Very well, it's yours. Please take a look. What kind of persona do you desire? Please choose the personas you would like to fuse.
Hey, thanks for coming, man. You mind waiting here for a sec? Okay, listen, but don't freak out. I'm gonna go ask Miss Kano out. Like, right now! Man, time to go get myself a girlfriend. All right, this is it. Here I go. Dude, dude, dude. Oh, man, listen to this. She said yes. I can't believe it. This is crazy. I was just about to ask her out, but then she asked me if I wanted a private lesson. For real, dude, I owe you. I owe you big time for hearing me out. I'm about to head over to her house. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. I shouldn't expect anything too crazy from the get-go, right? But again, she is an adult, so... Oh, forgot you were there. Sorry, but I got a jet.
I think that about does it. You think you can see this through to the end? Good answer. Let's just hope you can maintain that enthusiasm. Once you start something, you gotta see it through to the end. I only dabbled in this back when I was a kid, but it'll probably turn out fine. When I was still at the orphanage, I learned a bunch of stuff with Aki. I'm talking too much. Let's get back to work. That should do it. This kind of work is usually easier with more people. Come help out again when you've got the time. Let's head back now, and wash your hands after handling all that soil. This is the first time we've met during the day. Let's have a chat while the opportunity presents itself. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? It must be difficult looking after her. After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or could it be you've already killed her? I see. For now. Then, I assume her symptoms have arisen? Considering Kirijo's resourcefulness, you would have had access to the suppressants as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. <sighs> now, I ask you, don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Do you have no intention of understanding anything? Choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such apathy, such insolence. You trample upon everything we stand for, and worst of all, your rejection of mine. Hmm. You tread upon your gifts like dirt, 
and in doing so reveal your own arrogance. It disgusts me. I see now that nothing will change your mind. If our beliefs are at odds with each other and neither side is willing to concede, then a battle is unavoidable. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. Quite make it, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? Seriously? Dude, you're killing me here. What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a date? It, it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely cancelled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. You gotta be booked, right, Kurijo Senpai? I'm not sure yet. Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. Oh, man! I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? Why is he all excited? Um, well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh, Amada-kun, what are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. Oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. <sighs> anyway, I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Just holler if you get stuck, yeah? Been waiting for you. 
It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Now then, your persona abilities. Have you been using them wisely? To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. But it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you. I am certain that you will find this to be of great benefit. But for now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Until we meet again, farewell. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Are you in search of new power? It is a special persona you desire, is it not? What kind of persona do you desire? Which will you have you all the elements you need? Are you finished? We look... Welcome to the Velvet Room. I please choose the personas. Well then, shall we take a look?
This one is somewhat beneath you. What do you wish to inherit? It seems you have been blessed. It's finally time. This one is somewhat beneath you. Are you finished? We look... Pretty good appetite. <laughs> you even kept up with me. <clears throat> How do you stay so thin, though? <laughs> Looks really are deceiving, aren't they? But that means there are people out there who secretly want to take my title as Gourmet King! Eh, maybe. Actually, remember that puny middle-aged guy from the other day? I bet he was an assassin! There's nothing I can do about it right now, but I'll show them soon enough. Just you wait. In light of your recent achievements and your courageous appetite, I hereby appoint you to the Gourmet King's Royal Guard. No, maybe that's too much of a burden for you to bear. You're a second year, right? So you're one year below me. It kind of feels like I have a younger brother now. Well, would you want to be my younger brother? You do sort of look like him. No, that's impossible. 
I knew this would happen. I always get hungry if I think about the past too hard. And I just filled up on that beef bowl, too. Better stay true to form and keep eating, huh? Here's to a healthy appetite courtesy of remembering the past. The old memory rewind. All right, now in reverse. Let's moonwalk. What are you doing? You're my royal guard. You have to join me. Now do as I do. Moonwalk it to Umiyushi. Feels nice being able to pour tea for someone else like this. Oh, my apologies. I'm supposed to be the host, and yet here I am thinking about myself. How about you then? Are you having a good time? Apologies. Let me take care of that for you. <laughs> I'm glad you aren't afraid to speak up when you want something. Apparently, the popular opinion is that I'm difficult to approach. Hmm? We're running low on snacks. I'll have to ask my staff to... Actually... Oh, never mind. Here, let me pour you another cup. Alright, I think that's enough for now. We should start cleaning up. I'd like to invite you for this again, if time allows. But for now, let's head back to our rooms. Good morning. I am calling to inform you that... better than ever. <laughs> I'm so well dressed. You've become quite the fashionista, haven't you? Oh, good boy. Good boy. Do you live in the store? Is Koromaru in good hands here? Oh, 
Is that so? I can see that, actually. Poor Mara looks much more grown up now. I'm glad you found somewhere you can relax again. Ooh. Oh, don't you worry about a thing. You can live wherever you choose. I have to get going. Take care now, the both of you. What's wrong, Koromaro-san? I see. So that's what's troubling you. That woman from earlier, she offered to take Koromaro-san in at one point. But at the time, he still had unfinished business to attend to. Of course, she is unaware of that fact. So in all likelihood, she may still carry the wrong impression about Koromaru-san's feelings. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? this happen to be about Koromaru? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know Koromaru has his own reasons and his own problems. He's such a sweet, smart boy, isn't he? So really, I'm alright. But thank you for being so thoughtful. The way he's by your side. He looks just like he did when he was with the priest. He must really trust you from the bottom of his heart. Please, take good care of Koromaru. <laughs> Koromaru really has been blessed with so many wonderful friends. Be sure to cherish them, okay? You'll be at that dorm from now on, won't you? <laughs> well, I'll have to visit you again then. Oh, it's you. Well... Senpai?
Sorry, I knocked over some stuff while I was cleaning. I guess sound travels really well around here. I'll be more careful. Okay then, good night. <sighs> Um, Senpai? Actually, there is something I'd like to talk about. Will you come in? Sorry it's so messy in here. This won't take long. I actually have a favor to ask of you. You see... I have a pet hamster. I got him when I was living with my mom, and he's been with me ever since, so I decided to bring him here. If, for some reason, I don't make it back here in the future, then this little guy will be all alone. So, could you help look after him if that happens? guys with me, so I won't go down easily. But you never know, right? It was the same with my mom. Everything happened so suddenly. So please, I can even provide a little something as thanks. I'll give you all my allowance, and the rest of my New Year's money. And I'll give you all the comics here, plus whatever else you want. Okay. That works for me. Well, aren't you the lucky one? But when that happens, you better listen to him, okay? Uh, his name, it's Hamburger. You can't eat him! <laughs> but you know what? I think my mom laughed and said the same thing back then. Anyways, thank you so much. That's a big relief. There's not much time left now. Sorry again for the disturbance. Could you apologize to everyone else for me? It's getting late, so I'm going to bed soon. Um, actually, can I ask you one more thing? Everyone in this dorm is so kind. They always come up to me for a casual chat, and they treat me like a normal person. Sure, there were plenty of adults who showed concern for me, but I feel like the people here are a little... different. And you came to check in on me again today, but why? Why does everyone here care about what happens to me? just joined, but you already think of me as one of your own? I guess that was a weird question, wasn't it? Sorry, don't mind me, but maybe I should have asked sooner. I don't know if I'll be able to fully repay you for your kindness, but I'll do my best. Okay then, good night. Senpai, I'm really glad you came. Thank you. 
and I'm sorry. I won't let you down. Hello there. It's the inseparable duo. <laughs> yes, you're still a good boy today, too. Oh, my gift is going to get cold. Look, I brought you some takoyaki today. It's Octopia's specialty. Taco-free takoyaki for dogs. There's one for people, too. So enjoy them together, okay? Like anyone's reported him missing yet. So, you guys are helping stray dogs now, too? Aren't you spreading yourselves a bit too thin? Settle down now, Koromaro. You haven't changed at all, have you, boy? He's always felt the need to be this town's watchdog. Maybe he got it from the priest. And now that he's with you, he's more righteous than ever, isn't he? Anyway, hang on a minute. No answer. <sighs> Hello, this is Officer Kurosawa from the Tatsumi East Police Station. Well, it was written on the collar. Yes, no one answered, so I called you instead. Yes, that's right. A brown, medium-sized dog. I see. All right, I'll see you then. We've managed to identify the owner. However, they're in the hospital after falling to apathy syndrome. Don't worry. The owner's family will take the dog in. Cases like this one have been on the rise. Pets are being abandoned because their owners are falling prey to apathy syndrome. And to survive, the pets have no choice but to take to the streets. hear this but just know that you guys are doing fine I don't know the whole picture but that much I'm certain about now I'm gonna get back to work now 
Watch yourselves on your way home, all right? today the pooch must have been worried because you were sick so long I ain't trying to nag but don't take your health for granted that special power of yours has been a huge boost to our strength and it's no secret that Aki and Kirijo have their hands full of their own problems oh you're back jeez you've been picking up some weird stuff You hungry or something? Fine. I'll fix you up a good meal when we get back. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. this afternoon. But that doesn't mean you're free to goof around. It's time to work together and put away the culture festival displays and decorations. I'll assign you into three groups for the cleanup. The first group will go to the science lab. Your leader will be... Hurry up and get this over with. Roger that. Got it. Hmm, I guess this was the photography club's display. Look, we got a pretty good picture of you. Whoa, the guy who took first looks pretty suntan. That's Hayase. It's crazy fast. Of course, it's only a matter of time until I take him down. You've already got him beat in the sweaty department. 
I swear I've never seen you without your gym clothes. Then again, maybe you're the smart one here. Just walking around is enough to work up a sweat these days. Hey, you guys can jabber all you want, but at least keep things moving. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Uh, sorry, Takeba. My bad. Hey, he's got you all worked up. Nothing. Jeez. Yo, I brought the tools and stuff. The nail puller, tape, and, uh... If you require a drill, I have one installed. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, hang on. Where's the bubble wrap, Iori? Bubble wrap? Oh, right. We gotta pack stuff up. Uh... Good call, man. You should go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but you're the one who forgot to grab it. Oh. Are you sure you don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there would be just your type. Uh, what? No way. Are you serious? Give me the details, man. Ahem. I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we could go home. Oh, uh, sorry, Yukatan. Man, talk about an ace directive. I heard that. Jeez, how stupid can you be? Junpei? More like stupay. I'm getting deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. Still, it's a real shame the culture festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like the stand-up comedy duos. They said it was gonna be open mic, so I was planning on trying it out. Oh, well, really? With who? You. Wait, me? You're gonna just push me on stage without even saying anything? I'm just messing with you. It was actually Miyamoto. Who, me? Hell no. Just another joke. Chill out, guys. I'll do it with you then. Now that's the spirit. Why don't we show these guys what we've got? <clears throat> Hello out there, everyone. We're the famous comedy duo, Kenji Tomochika. Ooh, nice and snappy. You're pretty good. Man, I can't wait for the culture festival. It's gonna be awesome, huh? What, you're giving up already? All you gotta do is sleep like 360 more times and bam, culture festival. You know what they say, early to bed, Early to rise. There you go. We got a top quality one this time. Kind of depressing, though. Hey, speaking of jokes, here's a good one. What do you do when your key isn't working? the lamest joke I've heard in years. Guess that's the best Gecko Khan has to offer. Hmm, not bad, considering we didn't rehearse this at all. Man, we would have been great. All right, break it up, you guys. Seriously, I take my eyes off you for one second. Speaking of things that would have been great, you missed out on your chance to be a maid, Takeba-san. So word got out about that. I for one am fine with missing that opportunity. Met a lot of guys were real disappointed. Ain't that right, Miyamoto? Huh? Uh, how should I know? Wait, why are they disappointed? The maids are there to help at the cafe, right? Ah, uh, such a pure soul. No, well, it's kind of something that guys fantasize about. Mainly Junpei. Oh. What are you looking at me for? What did I do? Junpei-san. Oh, come on. You too, I chan
で。Here at this hour, this time of day is perfect. So, um, there is something I needed to ask you. She's a girl, and well, there's the boy who's been helping her a lot recently. Like giving advice on her problems, looking over her homework, that kind of thing. She even told me that lately, she can't stop thinking about him. So I, I was wondering, is she in love right now? I... Oh. Now that I'm hearing you say it, I get the feeling you're right. Or at least, I hope you are. I mean, I'm sure that's how my, um, friend feels. Thank you. With your help, I think I know how I should proceed now. Uh, I mean, I know what to tell my friend now. about such a weird topic. Senpai, you always take my problems so seriously. You're too nice. Well, should we get going? Oh, that reminds me. I think I'm slowly starting to get over my fear of men. So far, I can only talk to boys I know, but I can almost look them in the eye. But with you, I... I think I can do even better. As long as it's nothing too scary, go ahead. Rugged, strong, warm. <sighs> it... it's almost like we're a couple. I I'm so sorry. I can't believe I said something so inappropriate. Uh, um... Uh, should we get going?
progress so far. Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Are you finished? We look... is this place. Treasure chest, huh? <laughs> Look over there. Is this place? Watch out for that one. That'll take us to the entrance. You heading back? Found a shadow. 
no it's idol. It's not the initiative. They don't seem very What's strong. That's a win for the All team. Right. Good job, everyone. Come on, let's get going. Found some stairs. Go treasure hunting in a place like this? What's the plan? Fancy chest. Hey, got a chest. 
Some small fry will maim you if they see an opening. Stay alert. Treasure chest, huh? That'll take it. Guess we're going.
that went better than expected. You're wide Great open. target! Let's see. He won't know it hit them! I'll show him. Get out here, Caster! You showed them, Aragami Senpai? That's two for one! No, no, no. Aragami Senpai, your defense has been reduced! Let's go. Treasure chest, huh? You're wide open. I'm still setting up. So I am. It'll take a little more time. Eat this. Uh, I think I can use it now. How you do it?
That's one damn fancy chest for the taken. Break the hell up. You can hit a weakness with this. Yes, Didn't even stand. Chest, huh? Treasure chest, huh? Where can we do this? Capture! Items can be a good way to strike weaknesses. You dodged it! Look out for a leader! Keep it up, everyone! You dodged it! Stand for a leader! Furigaki Senpai, your defense has been reduced! Remember, you can stop at things with try. You dodged it! Stand for a leader! The leader took one out. Oh, no. Sorry, you, Senpai. Your defense has been reduced. Right. Oh, creepy. Let's go. doors. You sure 
know how to impress. I'll go. Full more step. You've got a weakness. Treasure chest, huh? Hey, maybe we ought to fight. Treasure chest, huh? Hey, got a chest to... One damn fancy chest for the taken.
didn't even stand a chance. This floor has been fully explored now. Get going. I'm fine.
You sure know how to impress. Our leader's taking down two at once. Come on, let's get going. having a teammate so bad. I can handle it. 
on you. Okay. It's gonna be really nice. Yeah, now. I've got you. Shadow spotted! 
Wanted. What's the plan? Hey. So this is what Hope we don't run into any creeps here. Treasure chest, huh? We got company. What's the plan? Down the stairs. Wanna climb up? Maybe I'll head somewhere over the weekend to train. Shadow up ahead. You taking it out? Another one of those doors. Wonder what's behind. Up ahead. Taking it out. Watch out for that one. Hey, that looks like a rare chest.
accepting a request? Very well, then. 